The long, cold days of training in exercise steadfast jazz culminated today in a massive live fire demonstration at the Drosko Pomorskie training area in Poland. Attended by hundreds of international dignitaries, military leaders, and political figures, the demonstration of international military cooperation highlights the focus of maintaining the exceptional level of interoperability for the NATO forces. <laughs> What we need to now look at is what is it that holds NATO together? For some decades, we had the Warsaw Pact. Then we transitioned into many of our nations participating in a coalition in Iraq. And then for the last 12 years, we've had an actual NATO mission in Afghanistan. So right now, our cohesiveness, our interoperability is the best it's ever been. So what happens as we come out of Afghanistan so that we don't lose that cohesiveness? And I think you see the beginning of it right here in this exercise. Capitalizing on the lessons, experience, and knowledge gained from Operation in Afghanistan, NATO will look forward to the future and maintaining that expertise. The challenge is that we will all uh, have to focus on maintaining that cohesiveness, maintaining that compatibility, after ISAF. We have had a period of counterinsurgency warfare. What we have not had a period of is high intensity conflict. What you saw out there on the battlefield today was high intensity conflict. And I think that's the challenge now, to begin a training regimen that better readies us for the mission that we have not been doing for the last 12 years. Certainly fighting together in Afghanistan has brought us together and built cohesiveness. Now we need to transfer that also into the high-end fight. These soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines that practice today, they're good because they practice together. And that's what NATO is all about, being together, collective defense, ready for the next fight. As Steadfast Chaz 2013 draws to a close, NATO will continue to use exercises of this type to further enhance their capabilities and cooperation while preparing for conflicts that may arise in the future. Reporting from Poland, I'm U.S. Army Sergeant First Class Seth Lauder.